Today I'm here to review Parasite the Maxim episode 17. Let me just say this was a very emotional yet awesome ass fucking episode. This episode was based around Tamora actually being targeted by her own kind and by humans as well. So pretty much she's in the same situation as she put Shinichi in. Karma's a bitch, ain't it? But anyway, with that being said, you guys, this episode starts off by Tamora actually being surrounded by three parasites. So she actually says, hey, why are you guys actually after me, huh? I'm not doing anything to you guys. So they actually come up with the conclusion, hey, you're coming, you're becoming too much like of a human. Also, you are becoming too dangerous to our own kind. So we have to terminate you right here, right now. But Tamora actually escapes, but not for too long because she gets surrounded BAM! Right away again. She gets surrounded right away again by the the same three parasites. Also, she comes up with this br brilliant, brilliant ass plan to actually split herself into two. She actually takes out two parasites by actually putting herself inside the other two parasites' body. So she killed those two off one by one. And the other one actually chased her a little bit around town. And while they were running around town, this shit was so fucking hilarious. She only had half of her fucking face running by two civilians. They actually got creeped the fuck out. And they did this stupid shit that you would see in a horror movie. Go after a chick you see with half of a face laughing running down the street while it is nighttime. Who does that shit? Also, she actually sneaks up on this parasite the last one and actually manages to take him out with one remaining blow then she just walks off meanwhile she goes home and she realizes that her baby had been kidnapped by the same um, detective that um, wife and daughter died in previous in the previous episode and he calls himself Sherlock Holmes for some odd reason I guess that's an inside joke or whatnot but anyway with that being said she actually contacts Shinichi telling her to meet her at this park at park one I believe I don't know the fucking name of the park she just said to meet him her there and oh my goodness they actually so show Satomi oh my gosh I fucking hate that chick she's just like she just act like she's fucking bipolar one minute she's happy then sad uh, then she just blames Shinichi for every fucking thing that goes wrong then she put on this front in front of her friends that says, Oh my gosh, I miss him. Oh my god. Even though I told him get the fuck out of my face, I'm I'm saying he should come back home to me. I'm looking like, really? Really? So with that being said, um Tamora actually sees the detective with her baby and he just starts to question her hey you're a monster this isn't your baby this is a human baby you don't know what it's like to be human you can't possibly be a good mother you can't even show emotion if this baby were to die right now you would just say oh okay it's dead but Tamora actually fucking has this little strange look in her eyes and at that same moment Migi says hey I'm sick I'm I'm sensing um Tamora, but I never felt this kind of a sense before. It's actually feel pretty goddamn strange to tell the truth. So the detective actually fakes like he's going to throw the baby over a like bridge or a balcony or whatnot. So Tamora just stabbed this guy through the fucking stomach and he just says, Hey, I was just kidding. I wasn't gonna drop it anyway. To think a monster like you could actually show fucking emotion, that's crazy. And he just falls over the railing. Meanwhile, while that's happening, um, Shinichi and Migi is just looking for, I believe her name is uh, Tamura. I cannot remember her name for some reason. They were looking for a Tamura. And while that's happening, um, Satomi, she's just looking all over the park for Shinichi, stalking this guy, trying to find him. For what reason? I do not know. I do not know why she's looking for him. Hopefully, this bitch apologizes because she's just a fucking asshole to him in most of these episodes also while that's happening the um it's this lady she comes across the detective body she's saying hey there's a body and um for some odd coincidence a group of detectives policemen just says hey where is he and, and i found that funny for some odd reason because a big ass group of detectives just came out the blue right away when he got killed and they just look for Tamura so he pretty much says hey 
They they find him right before he, as he's about to die. And he goes, hey, Tamura did this to me. She has on all white with a child. And the child clothes has a little bit of my blood on it. Find her. And my partner, he's actually a human. But what he doesn't reveal is that he's working with Shinichi. He just bullshits around the questions while the detective is asking him, what's your partner's name? And he just, he just pretty much assholes around the answer he just he just doesn't give Shinichi name up. Also, he's just telling his wife and his daughter, "Hey, I'm going to be with you soon." And then he just dies. He just fades away. Also, the other detectives go on to say, "Hey, we will avenge you." They pretty much go, um, <laughs> Tim Turner's dad from um, Fairly Odd Parents, "Avenge thee, I will." And they just look for Tamora. And this episode goes off by showing Tamora. In the park, as Shinichi approaches her, and this was a very good episode because if you don't know, Tamora is actually about to die by the detectives, and she does not put up a fight for some odd reason. You never fucking know. So with that being said, you guys, that's going to be actually next week's episode. I believe that's going to be when Tamora actually dies by the cops. So with that being said, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video because you are helping my channel out greatly. So with that being said, Herma Frost, this is Otaku Weekly, over and out.